welcome to the Wednesday edition of DC Today. This will be a real easy one to listen to. There's just a few things I'm going to highlight real quick. Um, the And I'm, a, I'm in a bit of a hurry schedule-wise, but also it's convenient that there isn't a whole lot uh, that developed today out of markets. This absolute uh, debacle um, and atrocities from Hamas against our friends of Israel have continued, and that escalation and the unknown of, of this event uh, ma maintains its status as by far the most important story on the world stage. Within markets, you're now looking at uh, four days in a row of stocks being up, three days in a row since the um, attack on Israel and the uh, coincident uh, correlated factor continues to be in each of these days Bond yields coming lower, pushing stock and bond prices higher. Today, the 10-year yield fell another nine basis points, closing at 4.55%. Uh, the Dow was up 66 points. Uh, the S&P was up about 0.4%. The NASDAQ up about 0.7%. So nothing huge, not a major rally, but just continuation of this story of bond yields coming down, equity prices coming up a bit. Now, one thing that was unique today is oil prices did come down about $3. And so you had an adjustment uh, to the downside in oil prices about, uh, excuse me, about 3%, not $3, but that was around, um, you know, the, the aftermath of oil prices being up in the last couple of days. So there's volatility around that. And it's something we actually said on Monday uh, that traders were likely to fade this idea uh, of, of oil prices jumping significantly if you were really just talking about the Israel-Gaza activity. To the extent this thing escalates into Iran, I think that's a different story, but we're not there yet, and I'm not sure we're going there right away. Um, I am sure that Israel will do whatever it has to do to pursue uh, uh, justice, but the specifics around that are very hard for markets to price, and that includes commodity price markets. The Republicans did uh, vote today for Steve Scalise to be the, their um, person they want to send up to the House for a speaker vote. Now, that doesn't mean that they'll have the votes when the full House votes. Um, it was a closer election. Uh, uh, Steve Scalise prevailed over Jim Jordan, who had received the um, endorsement of, of President Trump. And so, it's very possible that you get a divided situation and they can't get a majority vote for a speaker if the Scalise-Jordan rift is going to escalate, but I, no one knows where that's going to go either. On the headline level, um, by the way, the biggest uh, uh, real estate was up over 2% today in the stock market and the S&P, and energy was down a bit, but almost all of that was just from Exxon being down after their really large $59 billion purchase all stock of Pioneer Natural Resources. There's links to that story in the DC Today. And then this happened after market. It was not revealed until after market. But Microsoft filed an 8K, and I have a link to this in DC Today as well, uh, that the IRS has uh, told them that they owe over $29 billion in taxes. We'll see where that story goes too, and what aftermath may be. So those are a couple newsworthy tidbits today. The world stage, I believe it's all about Israel and uh, uh, the markets, it's all about bond yields. And I uh, will be with you again tomorrow, Thursday in the DC today. Uh, you know what, actually I will not be. I have to fly in the morning to give a speech and Brian Seitel will be handling the DC today tomorrow. Thank God for you. A break from this face. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, thanks for reading the DC today.